Good day everyone. Welcome to the chapter 4 of IP01 or Living in the IP era. So for the chapter 4, uh, we will discuss the social implications of ICT in the society. So we have three objectives for this chapter. So the first objective is discuss the social implications of ICT in the society. Two is identify the negative effects of technology to the society. Three, discover the how ICT is developing social businesses. So let's proceed. All right. So the social impact of ICT. Information communications technology ICT has the power to transform society. It plays a key role in each of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, providing the infrastructure needed to achieve them. It also enables financial inclusion through e-commerce and allow people to connect with millions instantaneously. So the impact of ICT on business is particularly significant. It empowers people to share knowledge and advice instantaneously and set up an online shop or website at a low cost, dramatically lowering the barriers to start a business. As such, it is an important enabler of change and ICT maturity is closely linked to economic growth. So advances in technology has always been used by for profits to increase revenue. However, government bodies and NGOs have struggled to successfully apply them for social good. An emerging type of business, the social business is bridging the gap between the two. So technology has made our lives far easier and better through better communication. So what do we mean by this class? So the role of technology has successfully made the communication aspect much easier and better for us humans. Earlier, we had to wait for the message for days and even in some cases for months. So we will receive and send our messages or letters and it will take weeks or time before we can receive or be before we can send those messages. And we drastically see the change which has, which has taken place. So now uh, all it takes a few clicks for, of our fingers on the smartphones to send out a mail. Message to our loved ones or office colleagues. The user experience and interface have drastically improved with the upcoming modern age technology. Next is with technology, advertising has been made easier. So not only communication class, but also for in the field of advertisement and marketing. So technology has not left a single aspect of our lives which it has not touched. And one such aspect is that of the advertisement. Nowadays, owing to the rise of digital technology and online marketing, and online marketing advertising has become way easier and comfortable than it was before. Some examples would be Facebook marketing, Google Ads, so on and so forth, etc. Class. So amazing change in travel industry. So the travel industry has been impacted by technology in a very huge way. There, there are Google Maps, Google Earth, and so on, which the user can operate and use as per their convenience. And moreover, there have been new and upcoming business models in the travel such um, sector such as car rentals where a person can hire a luxury car and a mid-level car according to their needs. Overall, we can say that things are becoming more and more interesting. So next is, of course, the help of technology in education. Technology has made learning easier and efficient. So there is no doubt in the fact that with the surge of the, inter of the internet over the last couple of years, it has become very easy for people to rummage the internet and get the necessary information. And owing to this, learning and grabbing new information regarding any subject has become way easier, which is good for the gigs. So lastly is the role of technology in data storing. 
So a couple of decades ago, retrieving data was very rough process to deal with as people had to, um, to score various files and specifically hand pick the file by narrowing it down. But now it is, it is not like that all. Nowadays, all you need to do is save it on your computer, tablet, and even smartphones. And whenever you need, you can search for the specific file and within seconds, it will be in your hands. Not just in the same saving, but also has made our lives significantly easy. So in every aspect of our life, technology changed everything plus. So, so of course, if there a positive side of technology, hindi rin mawala ang negative effects of technology. So people are more connected than ever, thanks in large part to rapid advancements in technology. While some forms of technology may have made positive changes in the world, there is evidence for the negative effects of technology and its overuse as well. So social media and mobile devices may lead to uh, psychological and physical issues, such as eye strain and um, difficulty focusing on important tasks. They may also contribute to more serious health conditions, such as depression. The overuse of technology may have more significant impact on developing children and teenagers. So first class, let's, um, let's tackle the psychological effects of technology or ICT. So overuse or dependence on technology may have adverse psychological effects, including isolation. So technology such as social media are designed to bring people together yet they may have the opposite effect in some cases. A 2017 study in young adults aged 19 to 32 years old found that people with higher social media, um, social media use were more than three times as likely to feel socially isolated than those who did not use social media as often. Finding ways to reduce social media use such as setting time limits for social apps may help reduce feelings of isolation in some people. Next is the depression and anxiety. So people who had more positive interactions and social support on these platforms appear to have lower levels of depression and anxiety. So while there does appear to be a link between social media and mental health, a significant determining factor is the types of interactions people feel they are having on these platforms. So after the psychological effects is the physical health effects of technology. So technology use may increase the risk of physical issues as well, including eye strain. So technology such as handheld tablets, smartphones, and computers can hold a person's attention for a long period. This may lead to eye strain. So symptoms of digital eye strain can include blurred vision and dry eyes. Eye strain may also lead to, um, to pains in other, area, in other areas of the body, such as the head, neck, or shoulders. So several technologies factors may lead to eye strain, such as screen time, screen glare, screen brightness, viewing too close or too far away, poor seating posture, and underlying vision issues. So taking regular breaks away from the screen may reduce the likelihood of eye strain. So anyone regularly experiencing three of these symptoms should see an optimist, optometrist for a checkup. The 2020 rule for digital viewing when using any form of digital screen for longer periods of time the American Optometric Association recommend using the 2020-20 rule. So use this rule after every 20 minutes of screen time after 20 seconds break to look at something at least 20 feet away. Doing this may help reduce the strain on the eyes from staring at the screen for a continuous period. Next is the poor posture. The way many people use mobile devices and computers may also contribute to incorrect posture. Over time, this may lead to musculoskeletal issues. Many technologies 
promote a down and forward user position, meaning the person is hunched forward. And looking at the screen, this can put unnecessary amount of pressure on the neck and spine. A five-year study in the Journal of Land Ergonomics found an association between texting on mobile phones and neck or upper back pain in young adults. The results indicated the effects were mostly short-term, though some people continue to have long-term symptoms. So a 2018 study in the European Spine Journal found that the posture of the neck while texting made no difference in symptoms such as neck pains. Next is the sleep problems. So using technology too close to bedtime may cause issues with sleep. This effect has to do with the fact that blue light, such as the light from cell phones, e-readers, and computers, stimulates the brain. Authors of a 2014 study found that this blue light is enough to disturb the body's natural um, circadian rhythm. This disturbance could make it harder to fall asleep or lead to a person feeling less alert the next day. To avoid the potential impact of blue light on the brain, people can stop using electronic devices that limit blue light in the hour or two before bedtime. Gentle activities to, um, to win down with instead, such as reading a book, doing gentle stretches, or taking a bath are alternatives. To reduce physical activity as most everyday digital technologies are sedentary. More extended use of these technologies promotes a more sedentary lifestyle, which is known to have negative health effects such as contributing to obesity, cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, premature death. Finding ways to take breaks from sedentary technologies may help promote a more active lifestyle. So in lesson three class, we will discuss the ICT and the social business. So social business are driven by a social cost, but seek financial stability in order to further their impact. ICT is playing a central role in the emergence and development of social business. These companies are driven by a social cost, but seek financial stability through profit making in order to further their impact. This combination is allowing them to effectively utilize technology for good. ICT is developing social business in three main ways. And what are those ways? Number one is affordability. Starting any business can be financially challenging. But for social entrepreneurs, whose primary intent is to engage with local communities rather than to make profit, it can be particularly daunting. In the initial stages, it can also be difficult to convince investors to part with their money or so for social costs. So ICT solutions have decreased setup costs in an unprecedented way. This helps social entrepreneurs to make it through this uncertain period without major investments of losses or losses and advice. Advice is only the click of a button away. Next way is the scalability. ICT infrastructure allows us to connect instantaneously with millions. Three, community. To ensure lasting empowerment, social business work from within the community. And this is the end of our discussion class. Again, my name is Kai Sese and thank you for your time and we see you. Have a great day. For more ICCT Colleges video updates, please subscribe and click the notification button.